Hi guys, thank you for watching another episode of 30 Days to Social. We're in day number two, week number five, and we're dedicating this whole week to establishing ways to measure our social media activity. Most of these tools will focus on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Google+. Today we're going to talk about a couple of tools that cover Twitter and one tool that covers all of the above. So LinkedIn, Facebook, Google+, and a lot of other networks that uh, we haven't covered yet. So what I would like you to do today is to go and explore these three tools. And let's get started. I'm going to walk you through those. First, make sure that you're logged into Twitter. Just like we did um, give permissions yesterday for Empire Avenue, you're going to grant permissions for one of the applications on this. The other two don't need any permissions. You simply put in your username and you will see what um, statistics the application is able to provide you. We're going to check on the statistics every couple of weeks or maybe every week. Depends on how often you want to track your progress. The first application that I would like you to use is called TweetStats.com. And if you go to TweetStats.com, you will see something like you see on your screen right now. And you want to go down here to this box and type in your username. And I'm just going to type in my username. Sometimes this tool takes a few minutes to give you the results, depending on how, how many people are using it at the time. So I'm going to type in not a grouch. And then click on the button that says graph my tweets. I'm going to explain to you what this uh, statistics show. The very first one is your entire tweet timeline. This is an average from the day you started your account to to date on how many tweets you've tweeted per day and per month. So you see that when I started in January 2007, it was pretty low. Then a few in January around 2008. Then activity starts increasing maybe 2009. And then 2000, late, you know, middle of 2009 to 2010, I started increasing activity a lot more. And then it drops down a little bit in 2011. And then again, we're back to um, late 2011 and January 2012. And each bar represents one month. If you click on one of those, then you're taken to the month that you selected. So for example, if you look at the bar right here at the top, you can see that we're looking at the graph for not a grouch. We're zooming into 2012 and we want, we want to look at February. And we're not going to wait. Okay, well now it's finished. This is going to show you what type of tweets you did in February 2012, which is right now. Right here it says the total number of tweets, how many of those were replies, how many of those were retweets. There's also your tweet density for the time. So for example, this is 8 o'clock in the morning, 4 o'clock p.m., Sunday, Monday through Saturday. And you can see when I tweeted the most during the month of February 2012. Let's go back to the main screen. And this is where you can see other statistics. For example, this is... Again, this is the global from the, when you started tweeting to today, all the statistics that it's able to track for you. This is also your uh, tweet density. This is the time time frames at which you tweet. Top is 12 in the morning to midnight, and then, or this is the 12, you know, the 24 hour period is represented right here, and then the seven days down the line. You can also see what day you tweet the most. You can see Sunday is the least date I tweet, and then I tweet the most on Thursdays. You can also see during what time I tweet the most. Right here is 12 a.m., 1, 2, 3, 4, then 8. So I send most of my tweets around 9 a.m. This also shows you who is it that you're talking to the most. Here you see my friend VZ, my sister Travel Mango, my, my buddy Shelby, my buddy David, my buddy Steve, Anita, Don, Bonnie, Mitch, and Carolyn. These are all my friends on Twitter, and apparently, according to TweetStats, these are the people I talk to the most. This on the right-hand side shows you which interface you use to uh, communicate on Twitter the most. And you'll see that for me, the web is my most utilized application. So I just go to Twitter.com, that's my most uh, used application. There's also Hootsuite, TweetDeck, Seismic, and yours will show something different. Now, if you're just getting started, you will most likely only see web or something like Twitter for iPhone or Twitter for Android. 
There's also one more statistic right here that shows who do you retweet the most. And again, you see the usernames and how many times you've retweeted them. You can also see your tweet cloud. This represents the hashtags that you talk about the most. And it's not loading. But you can explore that at another time. Uh, if we go and look, for example, at... Let's go look at November... 2011. Now, the previous window that we were looking at is the global view of all your tweets from the beginning to end. Now, if you click on one of those bars, it's only going to show you the one month that you selected. And again, it shows you from November 1st to November 30th when you tweeted the most and whether you were replying, retweeting, or just sending normal tweets. The blue the difference between the replies and the retweets is it what you normally tweet it. So here you see that I'm tweeting a lot. I'm also doing a fair amount of replies and a good amount of retweets. And again, the time frame that I'm using, who I talk to the most, who I retweet the most, and what interface I use the most. So that is TweetStats. That's TweetStats.com. Again, you don't need to have an account. You don't need to do anything special. In fact, you can look at anybody else you want and see their own statistics. So, for example, let's take a look at Mayhem Studios and see how he tweets. This is probably what you're going to see. It's going to take a few minutes. Now, I'm going to skip this and go to the next tool, next tool that I want you to learn and start using. Now this one starts tracking your account from the very first day that you use it and then you can come back and check it every couple of weeks. This is called Twitter Counter. Go to twitter, twittercounter.com, enter your username and click on the show me button. You're going to be asked to authorize and you want to say yes. In this case I've already done it so it just went right through. At the very top you will see your picture, your bio, the website that you have connected to your Twitter account and then you're going to see a graph displaying how you've grown on your Twitter followers for the past hour, week, month, three months or six month period. So for example if I look at my six month period you will see that back in August 17th I had 900 users, 900 followers and as you move that number increases. October is 1050 November we have 1100, December 1200, and all the way to today we're at 1500. So this continually tracks your growth to make sure that you are in fact increasing your followers over time. This tool is free but they also have paid services that allow you to for example see um, the number of mentions you have, the number of retweets, stuff that you retweeted and people that have mentioned you. If you want to pay for that, you can. We don't need to do that for now. I'm going to show you other tools along the way. Below the graph, you see some interesting statistics like the number of followers and whether it's on an upswing or downswing, how many people you're following, and again, whether you're increasing that or decreasing. So I stopped following seven people yesterday. Normally, I'm following two new people every day. Also, it shows you how many tweets you've made. Approximately 109 were done yesterday, and an approximate average of 35 tweets per day. This also gives you a prediction on where you will be in the next 15 days, and how many days it will take you to get 4,000 followers. Now, these two numbers change based on your own account, and they're really not very accurate. If you put your mind to it, for example, Back in January, my follower, my followers were, let's see, take a look at my followers, were pretty low. Uh, let's see, in January, I was about 1,200, and this prediction said that I will get 2,000 followers in 300 days. Of course, that's changed now because I had a big increase in the past month. And also, you can use this button you can copy that and paste it onto your website and display how many followers you have to people that are not following you on Twitter yet. So, so far we covered tweet stats, 
and Twitter counter. The third website I want you to check out today, you are going to have to connect with Twitter and give it permissions. And that website is called Clout. Clout.com, you can go to it and use either the Twitter button or the Facebook button. I suggest you start with Twitter. And what Cloud does is that it gives you one single score. Remember I mentioned before an Empire Avenue? Empire Avenue gives you an individual score for every network. Cloud gives you one score that you can then use to also measure how you're doing on your social media activity. Now Cloud is a whole topic on its own, so I'm not going to cover it completely, but I'm going to show you some of the basics. If you click on sign in with Twitter, you will then be create you will be logged into your account where you will see your picture and you will have Twitter turned on and most likely you will have all these other accounts turned off. You can take a minute to go and connect these accounts, at least Facebook, Google Plus, and LinkedIn. And to do that you go to the top right corner, <coughs> go to settings, then on the left hand side you will see connected networks. Click on that and you can click on the orange button that say connect now, connect now, and connect LinkedIn, Google+, Facebook, and Twitter will be connected if you use it to log in. And over a period of the next couple of days, you will see a score that starts to keep, you know, Cloud will start giving you a score. And whenever you log into Cloud, you will see something like this, where your profile shows what topics you're talking about and you seem to be influential to other people. In my case you see WordPress, social media, Orange County, and technology and a few other ones. You will also see your score right here and you can also see what other people you influence and what topics they're, they're uh, talking about. We will, we will cover Cloud m more in depth later but for now I would like you to go and connect to these three accounts and learn a little bit more about them, learn how you're tweeting, and what is it that you're doing to um, get the results that you see. You will need to keep track of this over time, and this these are great tools to keep track of people that you're following, how many people you're following, how many tweets you're making, and whether that's bringing a uh, return to your business as far as your time and money and all that social networking effort that you're putting into this, this is how you're going to be able to track it. If you have any questions about today's episode, please let me know. Your homework for today is to go to tweetstats.com, twittercounter.com, and cloud.com. Connect your accounts, explore the different statistics that they have, learn how to use this, and essentially just keep in mind all this information that's being tracked about your account so that you're, you know you have a, a better understanding of what you're doing as you go about your social networking. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check back tomorrow for the next episode. And I'll see you next time. Have a great day.